Hello there and welcome to this video on how you can use electrolysis to purify copper. When we talk about purifying copper, what we mean is we're removing any impurities, anything in there that isn't copper. So we're left with just pure copper, just copper atoms. So the reason that we need to do that is copper is used in electrical wiring, for example, and it needs to be really good at conducting electricity. If it's impure, it won't be able to do that as well. So what we need to do is we need to purify and remove any impurities. And we do that with electrolysis. So as you can see here, we have two electrodes, one of them being a pure copper cathode and one of them being an impure copper anode. What happens is we then use a copper sulfate electrolyte. So there's copper ions all the way throughout and the, the copper from the impure copper anode will move into the solution and then move over to the pure copper cathode. It's a seamless process and the copper actually ends up transferring from the impure one to the pure one. This will result in an increase in mass of the pure copper cathode and a decrease in mass of the impure copper anode. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the intricacies and exactly what happens when we purify the copper. If we break this down then, so if we start off with a pure copper cathode, let's say at a mass of 3.41 and an impure copper anode with a mass of 7.21, I can then use this apparatus, as you can see here, to purify it. Now what will happen is the impure copper anode, which is full of lots of impurities, things that aren't copper, will start to break down. The impure copper anode is oxidised. What we mean by that is it loses electrons. So the copper turns into copper ions, in this case Cu2+. As you can see from the half equation that I'm writing here, so you start off with your copper, it goes to copper 2 plus and it does that by losing two electrons. So I get two electrons on the right hand side. Once that happens, these copper ions will move to the cathode. Remember, the cations are positive, the cathode is negative, opposites attract. So the Cu2 plus will move over to the cathode, will be reduced, it will gain electrons and turn back into the actual copper atoms themselves. The half equation for this is Cu2 plus plus two E minus, we're adding two electrons back on, goes to Cu, which is my metal. As this process occurs, the impurities on the copper anode will start to fall off and they'll form at the bottom of the beaker. This is called sludge. The mass of the cathode will increase because it's got the copper being coated onto it and the mass of the impure copper anode will decrease. It will go down because it's losing the copper and the impurities. And the reason that the change in mass is not exactly the same, one doesn't go down by two grams, the other doesn't go up by two grams, is because the impurities account for that difference. Let's see how much you've picked up from that short video then. So question one says, why does impure copper need purifying to be used in electrical wires? Think back to why, what electrical wires are used for and therefore why do you not want impurities in there? Question two, what happens to the mass of copper electrodes during the electrolysis of copper sulfate? So what happens at the cathode, what happens at the anode, do they increase or decrease? Number three, explain the change in mass of the copper electrodes during the electrolysis of copper sulfate using those copper electrodes. So talk about what happens first, what happens to the electrons, is it oxidation reduction? Have it moving over to the pure electrode, what happens there? Number four, write the half equations for both the cathode and the anode. And then number five, explain why the decrease in mass of the impure copper electrode is not the same as the increase in mass from the pure one. What is it that forms, which is that difference in mass? Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done shortly. Right, let's see how you've done. So question one says, why does impure copper need purifying to be used in electrical wires? Nice and simply, you want electrical wires to be good conductors. If it's impure, it won't. So, so it's a good conductor of electricity would be a good answer here. Question two, what happens to the mass of the copper electrodes during electrolysis? The cathode is your negative one, so your copper ions are gonna to go to that, so therefore the cathode will increase. If the cathode's increasing, the anode will decrease. So one mark for cathode or negative electrode increases in mass, and one mark for the anode decreases. Question three, this is the four marker. Explain the change in mass of the copper electrodes during this electrolysis. So the first thing that happens is the copper ions form at the anode. They do that by losing electrons, turn into Cu2+. When they're in the solution, that lowers the mass of the anode. They will then move over, be attracted to the cathode, the negative electrode, 
and they'll gain electrons to turn back into copper atoms, which increases the mass of the cathode. So any four of those six points will get you four marks. Right, on to question four. Write half equations to show what's happening at the cathode and the anode during this process. So if we start off at the anode, that's where the copper atoms turn into copper ions. So we start off with Cu and end up with Cu2 plus plus 2e minus for one mark. The cathode is the exact opposite, so you have your Cu2 plus, you're adding two electrons back on, so plus 2e minus goes to your copper atom. And then finally, question five for one mark, explain why the decrease in mass of the impure copper electrode is not the same as the increase in mass of the pure copper electrode, and that is because you have impurities or sludge forming at the bottom of the beaker. That's the end of the questions then. There is a review one for you if you want to have a go at that, which is explain how copper electrodes can be used to purify copper ready for use in electrical wiring. That brings in everything we've done during this session. And that brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe, visit the website, and have a look at the latest video. Thanks for watching.